Hi guys, Paul here at Radio Shop Pickups in South Wales. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do your jazz bass pickup height setting. I'm gonna show you via this rather lovely CSL early 80s Japan bass from our customer, Alan. I'm about to put a set of our 62 jazz bass pickups in there. Now in this video, I'm gonna be using a measurement to do the pickup height. A lot of people seem to frown upon that and say, oh, you should use your ears. Well, a lot of us don't have the ears for it. And also one of the great things about a measurement is once you've set it, it's kind of set and forget and you can get on with enjoying playing, but also it's completely repeatable. So you find a sound that you like, you can put it back in, you can put it on another bass that you might have. And if you tweak things later on, you can restore it to where you know, you found enjoyment in the first place. So there's a lot of benefits to doing a pickup height setting based on a measurement. Once we've done the measurement, I'll show you later in the video how to tweak it. And also we'll be looking at the balance between the two pickups. Obviously you have a neck and a bridge pickup. And to me, they should be the same volume. They should have a different tone, but the same volume. So that's one of the things that we'll be aiming for is the balance between the two. So we're gonna get the new pickup set in. And there's a few things I wanted to tidy up for the customer in with the wiring as well. Just a couple of connections, which didn't look great. So just tidying those up. One of the things you might encounter as you go through this process is that you can't get your pickups up high enough. So here I am just cutting out some spongy, foamy material, which I had lying around the house and just making sort of fingers, which are the same shape as the pickup, which you can go underneath. When we do our height measurements, we're actually gonna measure with the string held down at the last fret, and measure from the top of the pole piece to the bottom of the string on both sides. The measurement that we're looking to do is one eighth of an inch on the base side, or 3.2 millimeters, and 330 seconds of an inch on the treble side, or 2.4 millimeters. And that's for both pickups. So we'll set those there, and as you can see there on that pickup, I've got a little bit of work to do, as this pickup is nowhere near at the moment. Now, one of the things to be really aware of is that you've got four screws on this pickup. So as you adjust things, it may pivot where the angle of the pickup is. What I like to do is use a ruler and just make sure the top of the cover is in line with the strings when the strings are just open. Now I found that I couldn't get the bridge pickup up high enough to get a really good sound. So I had to put something together that would actually tilt it in one way. So you may have to do a little bit of jiggery pokery, get the strings off, get something back underneath it, a bit more material underneath the pickup. Now for filming purposes, you see me using the base on a tabletop, but that is just for filming. The best way to do all these measurements is with the base in your lap. Once you've gone to the trouble to make sure that the top of the cover is in line with the strings, you wanna keep that intact. And as you go through this process and you measure, remeasure, and make adjustments, if you need to put one side down, you need to do it on both screws just to keep that sort of level of the pickup intact. As you go through the pickup height setting process, you're gonna be measuring and remeasuring, making little adjustments. And then if you need to do little tweaks afterwards, you can use the screws as a reference. I like to think of them as almost like a clock face. You can kind of see that the top screw there is facing kind of 11 o'clock. So that means that you can easily gauge what a quarter turn would be by turning the screw. And if you don't like that adjustment, you can then return it to the start point. And that's what I like to do, working quarters or half turns as we go through tweaking. So I hope you found that useful. Now, the idea really now is to just spend some time playing, plug in and just enjoy for a while. And if you can forget that you're doing pickup height setting, then that gives you a good idea that you've got them in a good place. So pick up the bass, run through some of the stuff that you normally run through and just See if you can find yourself enjoying the tone that comes out of them. If you find, oh, I don't, know, like, don't quite like the bass on that side. I don't like quite like the travel response on the other side. You know, if you find that you need to tweak, do as I suggested, which is to use the screws as a reference, because you can always return them then if you've done a little tweak and you, actually it was better to begin with. So use the screws as a reference and look at the balance between the two. Your instinct should be to lower rather than higher. So for instance, if, on the neck pickup, you think that's a bit too bassy. You don't want to be bringing the treble up. Your instinct should be to lower the bass side. Similarly, a little bit too much travel coming from the bridge pickup, lower the treble side rather than raise the bass side. Now getting the volume balance between the two is a little bit of a tightrope walk. You know, if one of them is louder, again, your instinct would be to lower the louder one rather than raise the quieter one. So let's say the bridge is too quiet then you're gonna to wanna to bring the neck down a little bit in height to actually compensate for that. Or vice versa, let's say that the uh, bridge is very loud and the neck isn't quite doing it and isn't keeping up with it, then you're gonna be looking to lower the bridge. And I would do things in increments 
of say a quarter turn on all of the screws. So let's say you have a bridge pickup that is a little bit too quiet. Let's look at the neck one and we'll bring, screw everything in by a quarter turn. Have a little play, see what you think. Is the balance there? If it isn't, try another quarter turn and so on. Using the screws as a reference, you should be, you know, you might find that you need to do a full turn to get the neck pickup down to actually be the same volume as the bridge. Again, this should be the same volume from both pickups from me. That's how I like to set it, but there should be a tonal difference and try not to get confused. Sometimes you hear a different tone there and you think that's more volume, but actually it's just different frequencies being picked up. So look for evenness of playing as you go back and forth between the pickups. Now, I hope you found that useful. We'd love it if you'd hit subscribe. There's lots of content and lots more bass content coming soon to our channel. We've also got a P bass height set in pickup video. And I know you bassists, you've probably got more than one bass. So if you've got a P bass, which you think, oh, it's not quite nailing it, have a look at that as well. We'd also love it if you check out our website. All of our pickups are made by our two man team here in South Wales by hand. And we do jazz bass pickups and P bass pickups. So well worth checking out. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video.